particularly thrilled to see all these uh, young minds uh, at our university today. Respect each other. Help each other in learning. Our, our students, our graduates coming from this university would be the best. It's not about equipping that student with the academic qualification, but also preparing them for the workplace. Hi, I'm Jennifer Bangwaiko, and on this episode of UniTV, we visit the departments of Applied Physics, Mathematics and Computer Science. Uh, we have two courses in the department. Uh, we have a Bachelor of Science in Applied Physics with instrumentation and electronics. Uh, and also we have a Bachelor of Science in Radiation Therapy. They are completely two different courses. Uh, Bachelor of Science in Applied Physics with Electronics and Instrumentation. It's all to do with uh, all the application to all the engineering courses and any science courses. Our graduates, they can uh, do any course like uh, engineering, electrical engineering uh, work, uh, mechanical work, and uh, civil geology. They are working in all the fields. So we teach almost everything, application to all the physics. So we give them the basic, all the tools that they need. And that, that's enough to build on from there. Try to link to our department with the you know, industries and to see what is relevant, uh, you know, subjects that we can teach, the topics that we can teach. And if it means to you know, do some practical or industrial training or anything, we can work with them uh, from there on. And so we are kind of uh, going with the current technology. And uh, that is the way we want to go in, in terms of instrumentation, uh, building security, you know, uh, electronic uh, surveillance camera and all those kind of things. We are teaching them to do those kind of things. Our graduates have to be competitive in the world so that they can go and compete anywhere in the world. We learn about maths and computer science from Head of Department, Mr. Benson. Uh, subjects that we run here are database, development, implementation, computer networking. We also run web applications and programming. But I think all of it is built around software engineer, engineering. So our program runs for four years and we try to incorporate all of them, all of that into them before they go out into industry. All in all, we have um, eight, eight teaching and lecture rooms. We have two big uh, lecture rooms for our students and we have um, uh, additional rooms for uh, smaller class sizes for our teaching. So we have two fully um, computer, computerized labs for our students and allow the student to use the resources he, have, he has to develop his, um, his, his abilities and his skills and your employer might have a unique problem and they tell you, can you find a solution to that problem? So we hope that the training we give them uh, should allow them to be able to build a software to, to solve that problem. Basically, it's given a problem, try to find a solution, develop the solution in terms of a virtual environment or instead of, in terms of a product and the end user can use and implement that or deploy that. Whether in industry it'll be help desk, it'll be problem solving, maybe fixing PCs or computers, being teachers or being trainers, being engineers or database developers, network engineers. So all of that, we, we give them an opportunity to go and choose and pick. So it goes to show that our program can offer something completely different to what the ICT schools in the country can offer. And that is that not only can they use the product, but they can also develop software. And so one of the things as a department that we're working towards is that how do we get our program so that our, our program is uh, relevant to ICT in the country? Because there's a lot of development taking place now. We have ICT partners and uh, Cisco, we have um, Microsoft. You know, all of these are coming in and, uh, and setting up training in the country. But where do we fit in? Are there any standards that we can run against? So when we send our students out, those companies can pick up our students and say, yes, we can employ the student. This student is employable. Because if we can get our students to go out, and not only is their degree relevant in the country, but if it's relevant outside, it just increases their mobility. 
for work. The practical opportunities and learning experiences offered by these departments show why the PNG Unitech is an exemplary institution offering science-based education in the South Pacific region. Join me on the next episode as we continue exploring the cutting-edge academic programs of the Papua New Guinea University of Technology.